Hey everyone, so yesterday I did the video but I couldn't get it off my phone. I was having technical difficulties. So I went ahead and got it again but at a different Taco Bell and Joplin. So I was at the one on Rangeline yesterday and I'm at the one on 7th and um, 7th and like Schiff and Decker or whatever. So, um, as I already tried the cheese, it's, it's actually really good, but it reminds me a lot of the Velveeta cheese, but it's spicy. It's really freaking hot too, this one is. Um, so I kind of did watch, uh, a guy's like short on this. Um, so with, with where I am, I noticed that the vegan fries the nacho cheese fries and the regular ones are the same price and then what's ironic when i was looking at the app the cheese so i had to get an extra cheese and i'll get to that in a second um about 60 cents the regular uh nacho cheese at 80 cents so it's actually 20 cents cheaper to get the vegan and i'm gonna smell it again but yeah it reminds me more of like a movie theater cheese which isn't bad like i don't mind that i just think it's pretty spicy but I'm gonna go ahead and eat it. But you see, it's like a nice yellow. I think it looks a little lighter than the uh, a regular one, but I haven't had dairy in many years. So I can't, I'm not good to judge how well it compares to actual cheese, but as like a vegan, I can compare it to like what I eat it. And yes, I would. So I think it's really good. It's just like I said, a little spicy. And if you didn't know, it's not like the fries weren't already vegan. Surprisingly, they already were. It's, it's not the seasoning that's like was the problem, um, but the cheese was. So I would get it with guac. So paying the extra, I think it's actually 65 cents for the guac. Um, so I did the same order as I did yesterday. So I'll do that here um, in a minute here. I got the bean and rice burrito, which normally comes with cheese and normally comes with the creamy jalapeno. Unfortunately, they don't have a vegan version of the creamy jalapeno just yet. I really hope they do at one point. So hopefully this actually stays too. And even if you're not vegan, just give it a try. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But it was really good. And it would hopefully help keep this around. The other thing is that when I went to the other one, I didn't even ask this one because I didn't want to have to pay separate. So last yesterday I paid separate for the side of cheese. I did ask if they could put it on the burrito because initially it has the cheese on the burrito. But now they were like, you can't, we can't put it on stuff for whatever reason they can't put it on stuff. So I don't know if anyone else is having that issue. Let me know. I would like to know. And then I noticed in the app too, it doesn't say swap the cheese or anything. So at least on the app, they won't do it. I don't know if some places will be nice and do it. But uh, out in the one on range line, they said no, they won't put it on anything, which they could, I'm assuming. I don't know unless they get them in these somehow I don't know. but I think it's a sales tactic they do want you to pay the extra 60 cents so the burrito is a dollar 65 really if you get the cheese on the side which isn't like the worst thing but it's still kind of stupid they always try to screw us vegans over so um no offense Taco Bell no I really like I really appreciate you making this it's just like they can't put on anything I want to test this out here so in the comments, let me know if you have that issue too. If I'm telling you they won't put on anything. And I don't know how long this actually is going to be here. So I would go get it as fast as you can. And I think it should be pretty much anywhere unless you live like out in the middle of freaking nowhere. And then I don't even know if you have a Taco Bell anyway. So you should be able to get it pretty much anywhere. I mean, I live in... Kansas, which border lines to Joplin, Missouri, and they have it at least at these two locations. So yeah, it's really freaking good. Now, if you can make one cheese last, which I can't, because I'm not a healthy vegan, by the way. I mean, not really. But yeah, it's good. It's just getting a little spicier the more I eat it. But I'm gonna finish this up and then I'm going to eat the burrito and we'll go from there. But yeah, since I already got to try it, this is more like a review, I guess, than a taste test. Stupid. Freaking stupid. But anyway, happy Friday the 13th. All right, 
Well, I'll be right back. Okay. So here's the burrito. <clears throat> so yeah, it's just bean and rice. I'm gonna put the cheese on it. All right, here we go. See, so I did this yesterday. You put the cheese on it and it pours really well. Ooh. Mm. So. I'm getting to the cheese. That tastes so good. And yesterday I got sauces, so I usually eat mild. And it honestly doesn't taste that good with the cheese. Like the cheese is just so good that you don't need the sauce. It kind of, the sauce kind of overpowers the cheese. So I won't even bother. All right. So the fun part is you dip it more. Mm. It tastes so good. Um, and you know what? I might try to find out what the ingredients is. Hold on, give me a second. Nutrition. So it's water, food starch, soybean oil, um, chickpea protein, melodectrin, modified topical starch, sea salt. What? I don't know how to say most of these. Hold on. Food. Color added. Okay, but yeah, just jalapeno pepper. That's why it's spicy. Even though it's one of the last ingredients, but it's just a little spicy because of the jalapeno peppers. Sorry, my nose is probably running. Um, but yeah, just like what you normally, I guess, would. So just as you, um, just to let you know. So a normal ounce, 1.4 ounce of this, um, and you can look this up on the app too if you're curious. So it has three grams of fat, 200 milligrams of sodium. Yeah, uh, the thing about vegan stuff is there never is cholesterol in it. And now that doesn't mean that um, it, like other oils and stuff can't turn into cholesterol, but you never get cholesterol firsthand with vegan stuff, like even butter, anything. So even this cheese, no cholesterol. Sodium is a little high. Now let's go compare the other one actually though. So no grams of protein, sugars, nothing like that. Um, but let's see what the nacho cheese is because this is always a good way to see if the, okay, it's not working, cool. I would like to compare it. Oh, of course, it doesn't want me to see the nutrition on the freaking regular one. And look it up another way if this doesn't work. Nope, see, it doesn't want me to see. Well, if someone can find it, let me know. Um, it, the, the, all these, I don't really trust the ones, but it just makes me mad that the app isn't working. That I can compare the two, because I'm curious how much sodium is actually in the other one. But you know, whatever. Um, but it is really good. So even if you're not vegan, like I said, please check it out. See what you think. I will see if I can find someone to compare the two. Well, that's about it. Sorry for the mess. So good. Um, but yeah, check it out. It tastes really good with this bean and rice burrito. Um, it probably tastes really good with a normal like bean burrito with the onion. That's what I like it that way Because you can't get the cheese on it. It's the shredded cheese though, but Still but yeah Taco Bell. Thank you. I hope this stays around um, I hope it becomes like a normal Item or even if they do it like they do with the nacho fries because they bring back the nacho fries every year, I don't know two months or something But you know and this hopefully will keep making things progress in the vegan and uh, in the vegan world and even if this isn't healthy i don't care i think it's progressive enough to get us you know somewhere here and then we can worry about you know all that later you just want people to you know see that it's just as good if not better than the dairy stuff so Complain all you want about all that. I don't care. I'm not eating Taco Bell, obviously, in the first place to even be healthy anyway. So even if it was all vegan, you don't go to Taco Bell because it's a health thing. 
really annoying to see comments like that. Well, you don't go to Burger King. You don't go to McDonald's to eat healthy. Well, no crap. I don't know if I'm allowed to use this word, so I will just say no crap. But I just really appreciate Taco Bell doing this for us vegans and or people who have dairy um, allergies. Oh, what? Right. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Please go get some natural chills. Let's talk about the vegan one. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you like, share, subscribe. Bye.